Six weights division here at the 2011 World Amateur Boxing Championships. And this promises to be equally as brutal and as entertaining as the last bout. Men's welterweight, 69 kilo boxers. And for Kazakhstan, Sarik Sapiev, 28 years of age from Karaganda. What an impressive run this young lad has had through the prelims, round of 16, quarters and semi-finals. With that three out of his five opponents being stopped or forced to retire. Shileshtuk of the Ukraine, 26 years of age, the national champion, bronze medalist from the 2010 European Championships, ninth in the last World Championships two years ago in Milan in Italy. The Ukrainian, ranked 22, is in the blue corner, and Sapiev, ranked 9, in the red. Asian Games champion, of course, Sarik Sapiev. Now, for me, this man's going to take some beating, having stopped three out of five of his opponents before going the full three minutes, Castle. That's right, Nick. And, you know, that should be contrasted with the fact that Celestiak, on the other hand, has not only gone the distance on all five of his bouts, but three of those were the margin of only three points at, or less. A very close margin, but yet Celestiak, Celestiak finds himself in the final. So will Sapiev be able to make that four out of five? We'll find out. By far the more experienced uh, Schmark, the uh, German referee, by far more the more experienced Sapiev, I was uh, about to say he's won World Championship gold. Let's not forget here, twice before, 2007 and 2005. But of course he won it in a category below in a light welter. Something that we've been talking about quite a lot, boxers moving up in weight as they develop and grow in age and uh, Sapiev looking believe it or not for his four third I should say excuse me third world championship gold here today right now that's right well he's not a youngster especially not in this sport of amateur boxing 28 years old so naturally he's going to fill out in size over the course of his career uh, but you know he's up against a tough guy Tara Celestia right now is looking hungry Notice the contrasting of styles right away. The Ukrainian immediately goes into the de defensive stance, the peekaboo stance. The Kazaki boxer looking like he's going to dance a little more, be light on his feet, and try and throw some more punches. So it'll be interesting to see which gives way. Well, he needs to make sure that that guard works because he's got a very powerful jab. And as you can see, very quick combination punches. There's the big right hand from Sapiev. And the Ukrainian just getting a caution from the referee using the inside of the glove and arms. Trying to show the Kazakh boxer that he's also got the speed of movement. Hear the crowd chanting for that Kazakh boxer. Interesting how the allegiances from Eastern European country to Eastern Euro your Eastern European country vary. Ukraine, Kazakhstan, Russia, Tajikistan, Kazakhstan, they're all here representing their great nations, and it's wonderful to hear the crowd getting behind them. Well, Sapiev. Definitely taking on the fight, definitely wanting to be the aggressor, and uh, good counter punches from Shalestuk there. Shalestuk will be well served to start using the jab a little more. He's got a great defense to start using it. He could pop out that jab if he could beat Sapiev to the punch. He's going to be in a better position. Sapiev boxing with his hands way down. Much too, much too risky of a tactic here with the straight punching Celestia.
15 seconds left on the clock to bring the first round to a close and a lot more work from the Kazakh boxer the Ukrainian though in the counter from his defensive play has been also hitting the target and uh, for me the most impressive part about the Ukrainian in this first round is that that defensive play that guard that cover working very well yeah I mean you know it's a, a great strategy to employ um, you know you protect yourself at all times whilst being able to throw straight punches from a short distance it's really a, a great game plan if he could keep it up for three rounds I think he's gonna find himself in a good way well the slow motion replay is showing the effective shots from the Ukrainian and they were effective how about that Taras Shalestuk five to two against that Sapiev there's a clear example of how the difference between the amateurs and the pros can often be so much work from Sapiev in comparison to Celestuk in the blue but if you don't hit the target you can punch as many times as you like and it is energy burned Celestuk with an advantage of three a healthy margin going into the second let's see if Sapiev changes his tactic here because the Ukrainian has defended and counter punched his way into the lead here well remember Sapiev has stopped three out of five so he has the ability to end this one early he's shown that he looks like he's looking for that big knockout punch too wouldn't you say Nick he's certainly looking for an opening let's hope that, that Schlesnick doesn't frustrate him and how long can the uh, Ukrainian maintain the effective use of that cover and guard for me I'd like to see Sapiev just put a few more blows to the body uh, and that's a, I was just about to say you know we saw Lomachenko do it with class and grace in the earlier contest go downstairs to the body when your opponent is keeping his hands up high but don't just do it once don't just do it twice combination punching to the body get him to drop his arms and then come right back upstairs upstairs with a rocket hook he's still not getting through at the moment and I'm surprised at the corner the Kajet boxer again these are going straight into the guard these fast punches not quite as effective on the counter for the Ukrainian in blue Shlestuk in the second round so far Shlestuk with the straight punches to the body Nice footwork and body movement by Sapiev there. He's looking for a way in. He hasn't quite found it yet, but he's trying hard. A little more effective with the jab. From Sarik Sapiev. He's sticking to his plan here, the Ukrainian. And you can't blame him. Three up after the first round. 40 seconds left in the second. And there's the big hitter from Kazakhstan. Going to break down the defense. Just under 20 seconds left on the clock. Sapiev still looks full of beans, full of speed and power. Shalestuk trying his best to frustrate him. Maybe not the most exciting or of entertaining boxing styles, but it's been effective so far. A lot of work done by Sapiev and as you can see taking in as much oxygen as he can 
important to note, he should be breathing through his nose and blowing out through his mouth to get maximum recuperation out of the short minute or so that he has to recuperate. Well, again, these slow-mo pictures, Gars, will show us that lots of blows to the gloves of Berenczyk from the boxer in red, but the counter punches from Berenczyk are hitting the target. Shlestuk, my mistake there. Get the Ukrainian boxers mixed up. Shlestuk in the blue, and he takes the second round as well. Three to two. So now four points clear. Shlestuk of the Ukraine. And the Kazakhstani boxer out of the red corner really does now need to change up a gear, change the tactic. Or as we said in the second. A few more body blows to try and get that guard to drop so those big punches can get through. Yeah, and particularly now that he's down in the third round, he can't let Shalestiak, Sapiev can't, let Shalestiak box him from the outside. He's going to need to get in on him. There's not much time left, Nick. It looks like for the first time in this competition, Sapiev has come up against a boxer that has tactically outmaneuvered his plan. There you see the president of this great nation being thanked, President Aliyev, the namesake of this great complex whose father founded this country and created this great auditorium, and he now is seated to great applause by all those in attendance. Back to the boxing third round, one minute 45 on the clock. Shlestuk has the advantage over the fast-hitting Sapiev, but the Kazakhstan boxer in red has struggled to get through the guard and the defense of the Ukrainian. And he's now starting to get very frustrated by the situation as that Shlestuk now starts to attack. Wants to stick to the same tactic, does not want to take on Sapiev as his own game. Because that's exactly how Sapiev has stopped three out of five of his bouts to get to this final. Good work there by Shlestuk, finding a way in with that little baby hook, that right hand, and Sapiev just won't go away. The problem is he's not putting on enough pressure here. Under a minute to go, he really needs to step up his game plan. He's stopped two boxers, three boxers in this tournament, we've already noted. Why not go for broke here? Nick, why won't Sapiev just let his hands go with full abandon? Well, he's obviously come with a plan, but uh, that plan hasn't worked. And there's the counters again from Shlestuk, and he's hitting the target with the one-two. And he's still continuing to score points at a far more consistent pace and rate than Sapiev, the hot favourite, coming into this men's welter final. Well, Dr. Wu, the president of the International Boxing Association, shaking hands with the president of the Republic of Azerbaijan. And the clock counts down, and that's it. And I think Shlestuk has done enough there. Yeah, Nick, you know, the problem there with Sapiev, he just never got in a top gear, and as a result, he accepted the situation. Well, uh, frustrated, Sarik Sapiev because Taras Shlestuk looking confident and I have to agree with his confidence this could be the Ukraine's second gold Lomachenko already crowned world champion in the men's lightweight division of course 
Enjoying the support from the crowd, Taras Shlestuk. Let's see if the judges give him the third round and give him the gold. There it is, confirmation. The men's welterweight world champion for 2011 is Taras Shalestuk of the Ukraine. 16 to 10 to Sarak Sapiev of Kazakhstan, who takes the silver. Confirmation that every one of the three rounds went the Ukrainians' way and finishing at 16 10. Take a look at the action here from the last round, and you see how Shalestiak was the busier boxer, at least from an effectiveness standpoint. He didn't waste his punches. He threw them when he knew he would land them, contrasting that with Sepiev, who was throwing his punches at an alarming rate. They just weren't landing. Great defensive plan by Shalestiak. He stuck with it, and he pulled it out. Let's get a word with the gold medalist from the Ukraine, their second of today. Еще ощущение не передать. Приятно было выиграть у сильного боксера. Он двукратный чемпион мира серии. Мы с ним товарищи. Мы уже боксировали, я ему проиграл два раза в хороших боях. Сегодня приятно у него выиграть. Вот. Так что я думаю, встретимся в финале на Олимпиаде. Достойный был финал. Спасибо зрителям за поддержку. Спасибо моему тренеру, тренеру главной сборной Украины. И всем, кто поддерживал, очень рад за победу. Спасибо. Спасибо. Well, before we move on to the men's middleweight bout, let's take in another award ceremony Middle for the light welterweight boxers. Kilogram weight class. The medals will be awarded by uh, Mr. Luis Bosselli, AIBA Executive Committee member. And the flowers awarded by Mr. Sabia Mirzoyev, Executive Committee member of the Boxing Federation of Azerbaijan. The medals will be presented by Mr. Luis Bosselli. I am an executive committee member. Gülü Tekdim Edin. Canan Sabir Mirzeyev. Azerbaijan Boks Federasyonu İcraiye Kampası'nın üzvü. Flowers will be presented by Mr. Sabir Mirzeyev. Executive committee member of the Azerbaijan Boxing Federation. Birinci medal. Mantia Capri Vincenzo. Italia. Bronze medal. First of the two bronze Manche medals Capri going Vincenzo, to the Italian, Italian. Vicenzo, Vicenzo Mangia Capre. And uh, Mangia Capre, of course, who was knocked out by De Santos, who went on to take the uh, gold medal in this weight division. And Britain's uh, Thomas Stalker taking the second medal for the United Kingdom in these uh, finals. A bronze medal, of course, for Stalker. The English boxer beaten by Berenczyk in his semi-final. 31 to 18. Silver medal going to the Ukrainian. Denis Berenczyk. In one of the toughest bouts, surely, that we've seen so far at these finals. And here's a young man that battled so bravely to claim this gold. Everton Dos Santos from Brazil. In his interview earlier, he said it was an amazingly difficult and tough bout. He had to give absolutely everything, but is the proudest man he can possibly be to be crowned the 2011 
men's light welterweight champion for 2011. What a great performance from the Brazilian. I thought he'd lost it to Berencek in what turned out to be a real brawl. But it's the Brazilian who comes out on top. Zehmet olmasa Brazilian'ın milli himnini kaldırın. Please rise for national anthem of Brazil.